Hi, it's Gerard Mansilla. The corona pandemic shutdown has affected me in a positive way and a negative way. First, the positive thing is that we need to stay at home in order to, in order we won't get sick. The negative thing is that we need to be isolated. Bunch of places, for example, parks, schools, malls, theme parks, etc. I miss going to Universal Studios. According to the CDC, or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, COVID-19 is the short name for Coronavirus Disease 2019. It is a new virus. Doctors and scientists are still learning about it. Recently, this virus made a lot of people sick. Scientists and doctors think that most people will be okay, especially kids, but some people might get pretty sick. Doctors and health experts are working hard to help people stay healthy. What can I do so that I don't get the COVID-19? Cough or sneeze into a tissue or your elbow. If you sneeze or cough into a tissue, throw it in the trash right away. Keep your hands out of your mouth, noses, and eyes. This will keep germs out of your body. Hi, I'm Talia, Gerard's sister. The way this pandemic has affected me negatively is that I miss my friends very much and I won't see them until 8th grade. But, however, I have been more productive and found new hobbies to spend my time. I really miss my friends and hanging out with them at the mall or the park. But staying at home isolated has let me focus and care for myself. I do not worry about school so much and I don't need to wake up at 5 a.m. to get ready anymore. I still miss going to an actual school instead of just doing assignments on classroom because during class before this all happened was so much more fun rather than no longer talking to my friends at all. This happened so sudden and I wish I actually said goodbye to everybody instead of just walking out of campus. Some things I've started doing are skating, sewing, and binging K-dramas. Online school makes me a little sad but it's better than getting corona. So I met this guy named Prince. He's from Vancouver, Canada. He's one of uh, out my family's friends. So this is what he has to say. So how did the coronavirus outbreak uh, okay. affect you in a negative way? Or like, not a good job. And probably staying home all day and you can't come out. And I guess you can I guess. <laughs> I guess. The, so how did the uh, coronavirus outbreak affect you positively? I spent a lot of time with my parents. Like, just, like something I don't do is, you know, when the coronavirus, um, not here in the country um, we used to work a lot and we don't see each other now that the coronavirus is here we have to stay home in that, that time with our clown and also we we have a lot of like stuff to do in the house like cleaning you know like Folding the clothes and cooking, and also watching movies together. So my last interview is from my mom's friend who is from the Philippines. It was from a private message and this is what she has to say. Assigned to specific times to buy food, no public transportation, cure few for all starting at 8pm, cities are quarantined from each other, you can't travel even to your neighboring cities and towns, wearing masks and practice social distancing at all times. So the interesting story is that everyone is panicking and everyone is rushing to stores to buy toilet paper. While the coronavirus epidemic has changed the lives of everyone in the world, we must stay healthy by washing our hands and practice safe distancing. We must follow the rules of our country to help stop coronavirus from spreading all over the world.